I'm Tuhina Pandey. And I'm Bianca Ghosh. And besides news from the business and the corporate space, we will also tell you what's been making headlines across the world. Here's a look at the top stories first in the headlines. The TRAI will now approve all equipment purchases by telecom companies. This in the light of security concerns over Chinese equipment being purchased by the telcos. All right, let's kick it off with our top story this evening. DOT, Department of Telecommunication, has come down hard on the telcos expressing security concerns, this time specific to equipment purchases. I'm joined by my colleague Arijit Banerjee to help us understand this development. Arijit, how exactly is this going to work out? And isn't DOT really stretching this entire security concern a little too much? So, Hina, actually there are mixed, feeling, uh, mixed feelings within the telecom industry. Uh, many of the operators, of course, are conscious of the security issues being raised. Uh, but then the question, of course, arises that by putting this 30-day sort of a time frame for most of the operators to actually inform the government and then wait for a government approval could create some sort of uh, delays uh, for operators when they're looking to uh, buy equipment. The government basically is looking at uh, uh, specifically the fact that many of the Chinese companies are now uh, supplying a lot of the telecom equipment to telecom players. The government had earlier raised concerns on that issue as well. And now it seems it wants to vet all these purchases made by these uh, telecom players. Uh, of course, uh, uh, interestingly, the, the best thing is that uh, the government, if, if there is no reply within 30 days from the government, the, uh, the telecom operators can go ahead and make purchases. So that, okay. of course, is a small breather for them. Back to you. Right. Arijit, uh, if now the TRAI is going to approve all equipment purchases in advance, how will this impact the telecom companies? Well, it's actually going to be the uh, Department of Telecommunications which is going to do it. Uh, the telecom regulator, uh, TRA, will not get into this. It will be the Ministry of Communications which will be doing it. And uh, uh, what it will mean, of course, uh, for most of the operators is the fact that they will need to uh, uh, get this approval. Without this approval, uh, it will be difficult for them to make purchases, uh, even though uh, uh, this could create some sort of procedural hassles, but it is expected that it will not delay the purchases because uh, they will have the right to go ahead and make that purchase within 30 days. No objection uh, comes from uh, the telecom department. Back to you. Thank you, Arijit. We'll, of course, wait and watch how that plays out. Staying with the telecom space, Tariff 4 has got telcos really worried. One pesa per second billing is now a norm, and it's something which could prove to be counterproductive so far as financial viability for the space is concerned. In fact, some of the telcos have gone ahead and complained to the telecom regulator, saying that they got to look into this predatory pricing, which is becoming a norm and which could, in fact, hurt the industry. Let's hear out the try. Our chairman. Otherwise, also this has this issue has been raised for us. Yes, there are there have been people who have mentioned to us that we should relook at this whole issue of forbearance. But then that is that these are views, which are. I mean, at this stage we have. We, I do not wish to comment on anything in any specific manner because we are we have to examine all these issues and then take a well considered view. If we do decide to. Uh, you know, look at tariffs, then we will uh, obviously do it through a consultative process. And away from the telecom space, here's a bit of macro view coming in from the central bankers in India. The deputy governor of the RBI, that's Subir Gokhan, today he said that high food prices may raise inflationary worries even further. Data on Thursday showed that prices, food prices, rose 17.5% in the 12 months to November 21st. Now, in that light, the deputy governor signaled that the RBI may quicken measures to curb the increases in prices. He also spoke about capital inflows, uh, which is seen as one of the factors that is acting as a restraint on the central bank's policy.